Today, I'm gonna teach you how to do something that you probably have seen other people doing, and it might be really frustrating to be on the receiving end, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're talking about shooting around an island and staying unspotted. Now, this mostly applies for cruisers. I've done it in battleships, but it's a lot harder. For multiple reasons, obviously. Battleship, much bigger, much faster shells, right? You can't really lob things the same as you can a cruiser. But there's a couple of quick little tips that I can give you here in one video that will make it so that you can do this. Trust me when I say it's pretty dirty and it's extremely effective. We're gonna take the Wichita and let's go jump into a game and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, this is an interesting one. So I hate this map. I hate this format of gameplay. Capture the base on Atlantic. So this is gonna be kind of a good one. There's a couple of spots that we can sit what you want to be is behind a rock, obviously. You're not really lobbing the rock, per se. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna position a little bit aggressively here, and I will see if I can put myself in the right spot to pull this off. So this technique is mainly used for farming battleships. If you look up top, we have a lot of cruisers, right? You can still use it on cruisers, but it's mainly for farming things that are stationary, which are usually battleships. That being said, you can use it for about anything else, though. All right, so what I like to do... Again, this is a little bit of a tricky spot because there's so many openings. And that is going to stop me from being able to do it. A DD that YOLO'd like that. Okay, I got to deal with this first. And this guy has decided to follow him for whatever reason. That's more accurate. That's better, Wichita. Come on, Wichita. Should have enough time. Come on, Wichita. Severely damaged. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the Kiev. I know it's AP, but it should be accurate, yeah. He should be dead as well. So, okay. Now let's go back to the main part of the video. So you're gonna wanna go to the front guns. Okay, I say that because the middle part, kind of the middle part of your ship, that upper part, that's gonna be the part that gets spotted outside of your detection. And we're gonna use this rock here and we're gonna pull around and we're gonna make it so the front guns, and you're gonna to wanna to be in this camera to pull this off. Now, little tidbit here, when you're in this camera and you left trigger, that is what your front guns see. Okay, so not the rear gun, not the middle of the ship, the front guns only. And we're radar. Just hang in there, this radar's gonna go away. Like right now, I've got a really successful um, peek around this corner. Okay, I'm only going to fire the fronts. We're dark. If someone shot HE at us, Taga, we don't care. We will not be spotted again unless a DD spots us. Okay, there's basically no way we can get spotted. Unless it's through a gap or, like I said, the DD right there. You're going to want to have something like this angle. It's even more effective when, like, these guys are charging forward, right? So it's allowing me to be farther behind this. Ooh, that's like an impossible shot. But you know you have to take it. Okay, now obviously this guy is concealed by the island in between, right? Quite obviously. So I can get all three guns off. But again, it doesn't matter. If that island didn't exist, Right now, I would be spotted because I'm farther forward than I should be. But like I said, I'm not going to be spotted, so it doesn't really matter. And see how that third gun hits the rock when I fire that full salvo? That's a good indication of where you're at. I mean, you're not going to be able to clear the guns on the back of your boat. Like, you will be spotted if that's the case, unless there's something in between you and it. Like this Atlantico going full YOLO here. There's not much we can do, right? We can't go backwards anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and back up. I'm going to position myself here. I'm going to back up to the next corner, which is behind me here. I'm going to go back to here. Okay, so obviously I've gained this guy's attention, right? Give me my gun back. Main turret critically damaged. But here's the thing. This uh, full steam push, I mean, that's obviously not very smart for him. This guy's gonna double back. He's gonna become our new target. And we're gonna play this corner here. So like this kind of uh, gameplay, you do have to think ahead. 
where you have to think who you want to hit, where you want to hit, where you want to be. So it takes probably a minute or two of positioning to pull it off, only because these guys were so aggressive, right? And they pushed down that side. That's fine. We just have to know about it and play for it, right? Using this kind of technique, it might require you to do several, you know, beaching moments where you can get kind of the right angle that you want to perform this maneuver. Now, bear in mind who is where and where's where you're going to be spotted because a part of your ship will be sticking out and you will be spotted if you are hard spotted by another ship. This is looking really nice though. So clear behind you, right? Use, use overview camera, super important. I'm not sure why this guy decided to, okay, he's almost dead. That's why he ran. We can get some spotting though from the mid. This guy's looking for me and he's looking away. We're gonna back up a little bit. See the center part of my ship? Look, it says I can't lob it. I know I can. Fire, brilliant. Him turning that way is only going to help me. Double fire. Brilliant. My Wichita is cracked right now. We'll burn a radar because there's no more DDs. I'm counter radar, but look, I'm already safe. I'm counter radar, but I'm safe. We very likely need to switch to this guy. I'm trying to turn as fast as Wichita can turn. This Baltimore might rip me. He has HE loaded. What an opportunity. And I'm by myself. Very unfortunate. You would expect more than one sit there. Got a gun. There's not going to be anything we can do here, unfortunately. Team-based game requires a team to play the game. Can we citadel that at that range, though? That'll be interesting science. We cannot. Your guns. LOL. Team-based game requires a team to play the game. Oh well. I think I, I think I, I think I nailed it just in that first game. Even though my team let me down, that's okay. It happens. Horrible map, too. We did a buck 30, and we were very selective on who we shot, and we still did a buck 30 in a high caliber. This technique isn't, uh, what I would say, overly hard. I do think fairly difficult to master. Yeah, there's not much you can do there, but that's the technique, right? Center of your ship, guns just in front, looking around the corner so you can shoot and not be spotted by whoever it is you're shooting. Easy to do, difficult to master. Side note, Pull up to your corner slowly. Don't go full speed, right? Pull up at quarter speed. Be very careful. And when you get right in that perfect position, small throttle movements is all you need. So what I mean by that is quickly to reverse and then back to stop. And that'll move you quite a bit, okay? Just very little. Just be on that power for just half a second, quarter of a second. That'll, that'll end up moving your boat just enough to get your guns around the corner or pull you back from being spotted. A lot of people try to do this and they throw it in reverse and they too long, forward too long, put you out there, you get blapped, right? Just make small power changes. Try and find that angle that you cannot be spotted by anybody else. And when you do it, farm away. Hope this helps. Appreciate you all. See you next time. Peace.